what's going on everybody, Big J Glees here, and today we're going to go over a play out of the Tight Twins from the I form. And this formation, as well as this play that we're going to go over, is awesome. And we're going to dive into a few unique things about this formation, and this play actually comes from the Atlanta ebook that I did, and until the 21st, if you use the code GLEES1, that's GLEES with the number 1, you will be able to purchase the ebook for $5 off. And the play that we're gonna take a look at here is Bench. And there's a couple unique things about this formation that we're gonna go over that's going to make it very easy to read the defense. So you can see here that we're in a cover three zone. And whenever the defense is in a zone that has two corners on the field. So you can see here, we have one corner, two corners. So like your three, four, your four, three, uh, four, 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 six, all of those formations. If they only have two DBs on the field, if it's zone, the corner is gonna stay on the right side of the field if they don't base align. If it's man, that corner is going to run over to the other side and top the wide receiver on the left. So this is an automatic tell whether the defense is in man or zone. Now obviously a defense can baseline, and if I baseline in man, okay, the corners move out, but you always know if the defense baselines based off of where the corners are playing. So if they're all the way out, you know that they're baselined. If they're topped or they move over, now you know that they're not baselined. All right, and we can reset the play here to a cover three. And again, you can tell that the corners are more close to the formation. They basically are on the outside shoulder of the last player on each side of the field, which is number 18 on the left and the tight end on the right. So that's something really easy that you can use out of this formation to understand what the defense is that they're playing. So right here, we're gonna take a look at the play called bench, and we're not going to change anything. This is how we're gonna run this play. Now over to the left side of the field, we have an out pattern as well as a corner pattern. Now what this does is it creates levels on the outside, or I should say on the sideline to the left side of the field. And this is really good. This is going to force the defense to have to play both a hard flat and a cloud flat over on the left side of the field. If they do not do that, we're going to be able to hit the out every single time. And we're gonna take a look at this right here. So you can see that the purple pattern gets stuck inside and he actually winds up pressing the B receiver, which is even better because now we got more separation. So if the defense does play hard flats, so you can see right here, we're playing hard flats. Now the corner route is going to be open and you'll know that it's hard flats because the flat defender runs out super fast. All right, so as we go to instant replay, you can actually see how quickly that defender moves out. That's how you know that it's a hard flat because he moves out super fast. If he kind of hesitates, it's not a hard flat. You're gonna be able to throw the out pattern. So next we're gonna take a look at man without press. So there's no press currently. Right now on the defense, they're playing man off. And both the patterns on the left do get open. You can see that the out still gets open for a big gain. That DB is basically left guarding no one. He just stands there. We also have the corner pattern that if we can throw this down into the left or down into the outside on the break, he's gonna get open every time as well. Now, if we do happen to see man, the one adjustment that we're going to use is to put the tight end on a slant to the inside. If you notice that the person that's manned up on him, which we know because it's man, is going to be the linebacker right over top of the defensive tackle, we can actually put him on an out, and we know that he's going to beat that guy every time by alignment. So we can always play that game as well. The slant will also work, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. So let's take a look at this play against cover two with cloud flats. And you would think that cover two would automatically take the X pattern out, but that's actually not the case. So we're able to always get this unless there's hard flats. 
The defense absolutely 100% needs hard flats on the field to guard that route. So your first read is always going to be this pattern. It's open all the time. They just can't guard it. You need a hard flat on that side of the field. So that's it. I want to thank you for checking out this video. Again, if you do have interest in the ebook, there is a video preview of it on the page, which is linked down below. And until the 21st, you can get it for $5 off if you use the code GLEES1. So that's it. It's Jay Glee signing out. Thanks for checking in and continue to game strong.